with my husband Ben. I take you on a journey of Oriental cookery, Nancy style. bananas for aubergine. This is a large aubergine that you can buy in the local supermarket and any of the supermarket is a common one and these are very special tiny ones for deep fry or stuffing and this is for the curries and in uh, Ghana what you call it? Garden egg. It's called garden egg and in Thailand they call it eggplant. beautiful aubergine lay in a nice design. Let's cut this top tail off. Ben, can I have the scissors, please? Thank you. You see, this aubergine, you've got little tip over here. You don't really like to eat them there. So you lift this up and just cut it neatly and clear it off there. And you cut across. Okay, cut into four and you can see from here, let me slid it over, cut across and cut across. Don't cut through your fingers, would you? Take your time, don't rush and just, and you also have to see how beautiful this is. Can you see? And you soak it in the water, cut across. Push your knife right in if you're worried. Push it in, that should guide you the right way. But make sure you don't overcut on the sides because one leaf might drop off. You can soak it for 10 minutes. Just get the water in it to stop it from this colour. This is my onions in red. Red onions give us a better flavour, especially when you deep fry. It gets such a nice taste in your mouth. I'm going to cut this onion into half first. Nip top and tail off. And I'm going to cut it very, very thin, as thin as I can. If you are frightened with knife, please kindly take your time. When I finish cutting my onions, I'm going to put it in my flour and make it into a batter to dip it with my aubergine for deep fry. Can I have my flour please, Ben? Thank you. And my salt. I'm going to put a nice teaspoon of salt on it. I put self-raising flour in as four ounces flour, four to five ounces flour. Some people like light batter and some people like very, very thin batter. And you can see my onions has gone in here. Whisk please, Ben. We can't whisk it, we can't make a batter, can we, darling? No. Yeah, get my water, please. Thank you. Don't sleep now, we're nearly there. Mix them all together and add some water in the middle. Whisk round. You realize that even, the, even if the recipe book says to you to make a battle of four ounces of water, you must not only think of putting four ounces water. If the battle is a bit thick, you can dilute it. So don't ever think that you, can, you are not allowed to add a little bit more water. Just use a bit of common sense. And now I let it rest for a minute while I put my oil in the frying pan and we can cook.
you know, I already cut the aubergine and soak it in water. And you can see how the water comes out, its colour, when you soak it. So, let's then get rid of the water and give me the spoon, please. Thank you. I have sent him singing classes to let him speak higher. Higher, higher, like beating. So I'm going to just stir the batter for a minute and give it a good whisk while he throws all the water away. And I'll show you how you know the oil is hot. You see? Sizzling right away. Nice and hot. Can you see it? Now we take this off. Look how much it opens up now when it's soaking. Just with water. And I'm going to dip this in batter. Twist it round. Get the batter just right onto the edge. And you can taste a little bit of the flavour of the onions in it. See how beautiful this is. This is better still. Can you see it? You don't want too much batter on it, as it doesn't get crunchy. As light as possible. If you don't put too much water in the oil, the oil doesn't splatter on you. And you take your time and be comfortable when you deep fry vegetables. You cook it for 10 minutes. Keep turning it and your fire is not too high. After 10 minutes you cook, it's really literally well cooked. And I use a chopstick. You don't need to be use a chopstick because I'm Chinese. I've been using chopstick when I was a little girl. But you can use a ladle, you can use a tongs, as you like. And you can drip some of the oil away. is what I have fried. I serve it with chilli sauce out of a bottle. And my eggplant is beautiful. I have nine pieces there. I have more. But I want them to fight. And my friends shall enjoy their starter. I told you your eyes won't be lit up when I bring this. Lovely. This is deep fried aubergine. If you like it hot, you try it with these chilies. And they are absolutely delicious. Try it, try it. Yeah, you get the big one. You get the big one. Yeah, yes. If you like it hot, really hot? Yeah, you like it too hot. You realize that aubergine have, have got lots of different kinds, don't you? They're, they're very, very tiny ones for curry. These are the baby ones. Baby ones. She yeah. does know yeah. her dinner. Yeah. I know my aubergine. She knows her aubergine. I thought you don't like my dinner. No. Well, I changed my mind. Okay. Very good. Very good. Enjoy your starter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Chili's not, chili's not too hot. There's something, there's something inside them, I'm sure. That there's something hidden inside there. Oh, no. <laughs> I've had two already. Oh, no, that was, I've only had one. Oh. You've had a big one already. Mm. So I have this piece of leg of lamb, and you can see it's beautiful trim. It's for our eggplant curry. piece of leg of lamb, got a piece of lovely piece of bone. You can see that lamb is very fresh. Obviously lamb is a stable diet as well from eastern part of the world. 
It's nice to use the leg of lamb if you've got lots of fussy visitor. When you cut lamb, do try and take out as much fat as you can. Ben loves fat, unfortunately, but we always try to educate him to eat less fat. Where that part of his world, they eat all the fat, they chew all the bones, they just enjoy it. This is my two tablespoons of oil, a sunflower oil what I use. This pounder has been with my family for over 100 years, since my grandmother to my mother, from my mother to me. And it's nice to have something that you can use when they were using 100, over 100 years ago. My pounder, I have put in ginger and garlic, and it's already pounded. Two cloves of garlic and one inch of ginger. And you can see it's getting quite brown. Can I have the onions, please? Oh, you're very fast. Okay, let's put the meat in next. And the meat is very important. You put your onions aside, and then you stuck your meat in. And then you put the bone on the side. This is the bone that gives all the lovely flavour for the aubergine curry. Or the English or the French say, you sauté the meat. For me, I say, I seal the meat with the flavour of my onion, my garlic and my ginger. And can you see the colour? Can you see the colour changing? And I'm going to add my seasoning in while it's cooking. One teaspoon of sugar, one and a half tablespoon of curry powder. And you know you can use Madras curry powder, Vindaloo curry powder, so, you know, don't, don't feel that uh, everything is restricted. Cooking is using common sense and enjoyment. It's like a little hobby that you just always say, I love cooking, I live to eat, not eat to live. <laughs> oh, 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 this smells gorgeous. This is well Saute as the English says. Have I put any salt in it yet, no. Ben? You sure? No. When it's very salty, no. you are the no, one no, to pay. No salt at all. Okay then. Right. I trust you with yes. it. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. There's plenty. That's it. Just, just cover the meat. That's it. You can always add more water if you want when it runs down. Now you can put the bone in the middle and gather the meat on the side. And you let it cook for a good three quarter of an hour. Your meat should be quite cooked. Now the curry is almost ready. Ten more minutes before we can serve our guests. As you know, this large aubergine can get it from any supermarket. Just cut across. Open the lid, please. Thank you. You see, I'm going to put my aubergine in and give it a stir. Thank you, Ben. That's it. Wait for 10 minutes. With my lamb curry, I'm going to cook you spring roll with bean curd skin. I put my chicken in. Because chicken is harder to grind. 
I put my prawns in. It's devein, clean and wash and shelled. You know that because it's very flubbly and fresh. Put it in, give another one. That's fine. Ready to put it in the bowl and do our mix. Look at this, water chestnut from China. It comes in a tin from Chinese supermarket or any big supermarket. Water chestnut give a little bit of kick on the spring roll because it make it crunch. Onions, look at the shallot. If you got, don't have shallot, you can use large onions. I have five onions here and half tin of finely cut chestnut. And I have carrots, like the matchstick. One full carrot here. One clove garlic. You know, Ben, I, we have been married too many years. We do love each other. We have to speak to each other. You know, some people got speak less than another. What what you got for me? Black pepper. Okay, half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm using rock salt, half a teaspoon. Oyster sauce. That's it. One tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of sesame oil. That's it. And one egg yolk. Just an egg yolk. One and a half teaspoon of corn flour. That's it. Oh, the smell of it. Wonderful. If you got plenty of money, spend it. If you don't have plenty of money, make a small portion and satisfy yourself. This is my binker skin. You look at this. I'm showing you. It's incredible. Isn't it great? You tell me, how on earth at home we can make it? No, we have to buy it. You can get it in Oriental Supermarket, the large ones. And my dear husband, we're going to do a rock and roll. Scissors. Scissors? Scissors? Yes. You cut this into half. Ben, please kindly get me some corn flour mm. and a bowl mm. and a bit of water. Yes. If I give you this, you can mix it quickly for me, won't you, dear? You see, that's what husband and wife do when they have to work together. I'm not picking on him or else, what am I going to do? Work all my life on my own when my husband sit on his bottom? No, this is two ways traffics. Water and corn flour, glue it together. originated from China and Hong Kong, one of the emperor dish. Yes, you know how the emperor is. They are more spoiled than the brat. If they want to have 200 dishes on the table, it got to be there. Let's get the steamer in. Yes. You must cover the steamer. Then, Get the bamboo hot and sweaty. Yes, you can you see it? We steam up now. Come now. We can lay this on. Don't overlap it because it won't cook that fast. You can get this lovely steamer under tanner from any Chinese supermarket or any big shopping centre. If you already bought your stainless steel steamer, use it. If you already bought your electrical steamer, 
use it. Steaming this, 10 minutes maximum. This is ready, look at that. The fire is off and it's ready. Get rid of one second of the steam. The oil is hot. Whoa! One. Oh, yes. That is really delicious. Even I'm a professional, it takes time, but do not worry. Everything takes time in frying. Oh, it's lovely. This is going to be crispy and nice. Make sure it's both sides. It's nice and golden brown. It didn't, doesn't take a long time. And do not burn your bean cut spring roll. This is ready. Cut this first. Scissors, please, Ben. Thank you. I got the tiptoes because my cameraman is taller than me. That's it. That fit for an emperor. The emperor dish. Bean curd roll. You tell me what we got. You try each one. Spring roll. The rice. Yeah. Rice. Spring roll with what? The bean curd? I have never thought of bean curd. Let me help you. Yay! Lovely people, yeah? Be friendly. I want you to feel comfortable. That's why I don't give you any serving spoon. What do you think about the lamb? It's absolutely amazing. But he's a bit I've lost my voice. You lost your voice. He's lost my voice. Because he's stuffing himself. <laughs> That's all about my aubergines. Say goodbye, Ben. Salamatinga. That's Indonesian.